Good morning, everyone. Today I am in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, in Lehigh County, and I am at Sand Island Park. And this is another one of my spur of the moment decisions. I was looking for a cool place to do some trail running and some hiking and maybe some exploring. And I wasn't too far from here, so I thought I would check it out. I believe this is the Monocacy Creek. Nice view of the creek. So I'm noticing this is a trend in Pennsylvania, probably in most states. Many of these beautiful old train stations have been converted into restaurants. All right, so I don't know if I can follow these railroad tracks. I mean, they're not active tracks, so there's no danger. And I believe, well, there's the Monocacy Creek. I am thinking if I follow these tracks, it will take me into the park. Or maybe the other side of the creek. It's a Saturday morning around 11.15, and I really don't have anything else I have to do today. So there's no specific plan. I have as much time as I want to explore. So, I'm in no rush. I'd like to do at least five miles because I'm gonna do, as you've probably noticed in many of my videos, I run a little bit as well. I wanna do a little bit of a run, slash hike, slash explore. Here we still have the old rail, rail lines. Oh, wow. <laughs> so if you look straight down, that is, I guess, the creek. Oh, wow. And look at this. We have old... I want to say old... I think I'm wrong here. I was going to say old railroad ties here and the tracks are gone. But some type of a bridge because there we that's the creek right down there. And then we have the railroad tracks. And we have tracks over here as well. But you want to be careful. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be on this side. But it does. It goes straight down. I said 30 feet. That looks like at least 50 feet now. Straight down into the creek. We still have railroad tracks going off here. I am definitely off the beaten path at this point. So I'm wondering how old this is. Because you would think they would have torn all this up. But I guess this is kind of just empty space. And it's leading me out to a trail, which I'm assuming is going into the park that we looked for. Okay, so I see a warning sign here. That must be trespassing. It says guard dogs. We're not going to be checking that out. So I am headed back. I'm gonna find a way to get to the other side of the creek because that is the park. As I was walking back there, it looks like a whole tent community. So there's a lot of homeless people living back there. 
and I did run into one gentleman, which I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I edited it out or not, but he was a nice guy, and he said, this is not the park. So I'm going to try to get to the other side. Okay, so I do believe I'm back in the park, and I'm passing what appears to be a restaurant, but I'm thinking this was probably a mill back in the day. Okay, and it looks like we're sort of dammed up over here. Wow, this is cool. Whenever I come up to the Bethlehem, Allentown, Lehigh Valley area, I see a lot of old remnants of the now, I want to say the past, but this is, I'm not sure why this would be built, but probably had something to do with that, what I'm calling a mill, that may have been a mill at one time. But what we have here is, uh, sort of like a little bridge that's just carrying water over. And then it looks as if it comes to a waterfall, maybe. I'm not sure if I'm steady enough to walk across this. I probably can, but see, if I go in the water, I'm not going to get hurt, but <laughs> I'm going to get pretty wet. So maybe we can get a view of the other side from just walking through the park. At least I hope so. Also, by going back this way, it's fenced off, so you're probably not supposed to be back there, and that will take us back to where I saw the homeless encampment. So I kind of just want to leave those people alone. You could probably see that old stonework. And then there is some stonework here along the creek, and it looks like a wall that would have been like a canal or something at one time. I don't know. I'm gonna get back in. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the part of the park we're supposed to be in. And here's an old picture of, I guess, the canal and one of the, I don't know what you would call it, but one of the boats that would come down the canal. So yeah, I think we're right. This was part of a canal at one time. Trails are nice for running, too. They're nice and soft trails. So I am back on the other side now. And there, you can see, I'm not going to be able to get across here, but... That's a good view right down there of the canal. <laughs> I'm running out of foot space and I don't really want to walk into the creek, but you can see that is the canal right there. Check out this bridge. Always kind of cool when you're underneath a bridge. These are the type of things you don't see when you're just driving around. But look at that. Bethlehem Steel, most likely. So when you come to areas like this, if you are alone, you should absolutely carry some defense. <laughs> Always carry pepper spray. So I just was running, kind of running slash hiking, and I slowed down. There was, I guess, a woman that appeared homeless. And I said, hey, how are you doing? And she replied, get out of here, you stinking... <laughs> I can't say the word, but uh, leave it up to your imagination. Right over there are the steel stacks. So you may or may not be able to hear a little bit of music over there. They've kind of turned it into a concert venue. Look at that picture, right?
Okay, so we are back down by railroad tracks, but these are active tracks. So, need to be careful down here. I'd really like to find my way back to some sort of park. But this is kind of cool. Who doesn't like to look at trains, right? <laughs> Maybe we'll see one go by. And off on the distance are the steel stacks. So I think I am going to run down towards the steel stacks. I'm thinking this is a public trail. I don't know. Like I said, we're right along by railroad tracks, but I don't see any no trespassing, so I'm going to do it. So uh, I'm going to listen to the sign and I'm going to head up to this street and run down that way. Oh wow, check this out. So unfortunately this is all fenced off, but here is a huge portion of Bethlehem Steel. Now, I'm thinking if we would have been here maybe 10 years ago, we could probably get in there and walk around. Just thinking of the thousands of people who worked here. Sadly, we have to look at this through a fence. So it's probably hard for you to get a scope of how huge this place is. This is cool. It looks like something you would see in Rome. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is such a cool place. Now listen, I've been here before, so I really shouldn't be getting that excited. I ran, I've been here twice, cause I ran a 10K here. God, I think it was last year or two years ago. And then I did run a 10K here, maybe like 10 years ago. But when you're running, you don't really stop and appreciate this. I believe you can take tours of this as well, but just look at that. I don't even want to guess how high that tower is up there. But I'll guess anyway, 150 feet? <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty high. And this is a nice little section. It's quiet here. And they've got the old, probably like some type of a, I don't know, a warehouse. I have no idea what these buildings were used for, but they were all part of the steel industry. So I just did a quick look up on my phone. These steel stacks were built in 18... 63 so we're talking civil war era and they officially shut down in 1995 which left a huge void in the community. The manufacturing here was probably an integral part of us winning 
World War II. I need to come back here and do a video on the steel stacks. Maybe do a little research, maybe bring Tony with me and do a video um, with a little bit more of the history. But for right now, I'm gonna try to get back on some type of trail. So now I just ran across the Lehigh River over there. And I see off in the distance that restaurant that used to be a mill, or at least I believe it used to be a mill. And now I'm trying to figure out how do I get back there because <laughs> I'm crossing the wrong bridge. It's always an adventure. Okay, so I'm not too far from where we started, but I thought I would check this out. I saw a little trail here off the side of the road. Quite often it's the little trails that are not explored that are quite interesting. I thought I would check this out down here. Not sure why, but why not, right? Underneath what I believe is a railway bridge, probably those old railroad tracks. And I'm looking at something that I am not going to get close to. Not sure you can see that yet. Not going to get any closer, but look at that beehive. It's like twice the size of my head. <laughs> I want to get closer, but I don't know. I see a lot of bees flying around it. There it is. Close enough. Oh, cool. All right, you remember, I wanted to see this. There is that man-made waterfall, and there is a beautiful shot of the canal. Look at that. That is beautiful. So I got here through a really um, backward way. That's not really a park trail. So we were over here somewhere, but we weren't on this trail, right? Because if we were on this trail, I would have been able to see this. There must be another trail over there. So I'm gonna cross over this bridge and check out this trail. Another view. All right, I found a storyboard. Now, it's not in great shape, so you might not be able to see that picture. Maybe you can, maybe you can't, but there's a couple of the canal boats. There's people standing on it, and there's the canal, which is probably what we're looking at right over here. So there were over 70 locks to raise and lower canal boats onto stretches of level water. Here is a map of the park. <laughs> you can't see any of it. It definitely needs to be replaced. But um, I'm thinking there's a whole lot that we did not see on this little exploration. So I'm on the trail leading back to where I parked. 
I definitely feel like I'm gonna come back here because I, like I said before, I think there might be a lot that we didn't see and we kind of went way off trail. But hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> I got about 4.2 miles in, so I got a nice little workout as well. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure to have a great weekend. Take care, everybody.